Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Let's see what's going on back at Alistair. Haven't been back here since... Welcome. Chapter 3, if I recall correctly, when we infiltrated the place with Vanos. Ah. Well, yeah, you lost. You don't exactly get to celebrate that sort of thing. No riots in the streets for us. <sighs> well, wasn't that already obvious from the beginning? Well, you did. <sighs> you backed the wrong horse. How could he be crying in heaven? I mean, if you're in heaven, I would think everything would be all good. Well, technically, I don't think we know what exactly happened to him. Especially in the original version of the game, when we never see him, we didn't have, like, the possible histories and all that. Well, evidently, you've been believing in nothing! Or at least, definitely not the right thing. There's not very many people out around here, by the way, or even at the inn, or the shops, really. Other than the shopkeeper. Of course. Oh, okay. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to what few people are out and about and doing their thing. Hey, how's it going? The rotten parts of Alistel will soon be cut off. Well, yeah, that's the general idea. I didn't know you were so passionate about this. Well, when people try to assassinate you, I would generally get passionate about trying to stay alive. If only you were this serious earlier on, Hugo would have been. If only. Yeah, you're right. I used to be passionate and active like you. But that was a long time ago. Stack is passionate? What happened? You know the story of how Rosh got his gauntlet, don't you? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. He nearly lost his life during an operation. You mean a wartime operation or like a hospital operation? I was the commander of that operation. It was my first defeat. But the outcome was a trivial matter. Well, what do you mean? I let a lot of good soldiers die. And I was responsible for Rush's permanent injuries. Well, I would think the enemy was responsible for his injuries. That day, I learned what true fear was. Did you get inflicted by a status ailment? From that moment forward, I stopped taking initiative. That's the me you know. Not. But that ends here. Good for you! In order to revive the country the Prophet Noah left behind, all of us must take action now. I look forward to your future. Or we could just have three of us. That's probably all we need. And I look forward to yours. Ah. Uh. Okay, so as Stock suggested in the previous episode, I'll just tell you, uh, Hugo is down here in the underground lab, so let's head on over there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm surprised anyone remembers us by now. I mean, besides Viola. Oh, yeah, sure. What do you think we look like? A charity foundation? Oh, huh? where is he? What can you tell me about him? Uh. Oh, really? A gauntlet? How many gauntlets do we have around this place? Uh. Well, yeah. He's an engineer. That's his job. Yeah. Well, I would think Rush would be a successful experiment, too. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, keep an eye out for the guy. Sure, why not? Well, let's head on into the underground lab. Yeah, you might remember when... Well, if you tried coming here before, 
that door would have been closed. But where did he go? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, okay, I guess it's like a teleporter or something. This? I can't believe this place has been right under the castle. Well, what do you mean? I can't believe they built it with the country's coffers. Well, I could. What do you think they use taxes for? Let's not worry about that right now. Hugo needs to be our primary concern. Yeah, murdering him! Damn that ice! How dare he come this far to betray me? I don't think he exactly betrayed you. He just kind of laughed when he saw the ship was sinking. I've had enough. I'll handle things myself from now on. Well, yeah, if you want to get something done right, that's the only way. Fennel, start it! Are you sure? This device hasn't had proper testing. <laughs> I like how he's just smiling there still. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, go on. You should at least have the Ethereon with the... Silence! Shut up and start it. So, where is the Ethereon then? <sighs> All right. I would think that if they... What is it? Well, I mean, when Protea was executed or whatever, they would have taken it. Wait and see, Ice. You'll regret betraying me. Maybe when we sealed the Mana Breach or whatever that thing was, or the Divine Judgment, it broke the Ethereon. I don't know. We only need one anyway. Well, here goes. Goodbye! Is it working? I feel the power surging inside. Oh yeah, that's just being electrocuted. Are you okay? Dude? Dude! Was the experiment a success? Well, he's standing, isn't he? Are you alright, Hugo? Maybe he lost his ability to speak. What are you? I thought he'd never shut up. No! And he died. Amazing! This is the power of a god, and it's all mine! <laughs> Did they really need three lines for the maniacal laughing? Prophet Noah, I shall purify everything in your name with my own two hands! Not... Not exactly sure what happened to Hugo there, but... Well, I'm guessing it's not good for us. But alright, let's take a look around the underground lab. And collect some treasure while we're at it. Oh, I could use some more of those teas there. Used a whole bunch of them on Ott recently. Speaking of Ott, I have uh, rearranged my parties. I have listed in the video description there. I think Ott will be pretty you useful for walk. us. Be careful, Stock. And Marco. It's the enemy! And I've got the war armlet. Equipped on. We got the upper hand. Uh, Gafka there. But alright, let's see what we got. Okay, so we can go. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay. So we got those Alistair officers in the back there. And. Let's see. Yeah, those guys, they can. Inflict a. Well, they can buff. They're all of their allies at once on the battlefield with a magic shield. And that'll block, like, the next four magical attacks on them. So, yeah, Ott's traps would not be so useful in that situation. So, you definitely want to kill them first. But, in this situation, I can just kill them all. Looks like... Let me have a go. This is the mark. Yeah. 
If I couldn't kill them in the first round, though, like if I didn't get that full preemptive strike, I would use Marco's Sleep Gas on them because they are weak to it. And he'd have a pretty good odds of inflicting it. Yay! Incoming! I found them! By the way, these guys are not weak to thunder! I'm only using that because I have that equipped on Ot because there's other things to do. Okay, so you see in this situation, I can't kill them all with just what I've got here without like using a mana burst or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try putting them to sleep. Hmm. I was thinking about maybe pushing some of them into the back row to put them to sleep, but no, let's just go with sleep gas and hope things work out for us. I will probably want to defend here, or I could switch turns like that. Bombs away. See how well we do? Nah. Yeah, the other guy. Oh, okay, he's not gonna use the shield. Well, uh, carry on, I guess, yeah. Okay, so if I want to kill these three, I need one, two, three. I need four consecutive moves. So let's go like this and hope they don't gang up on that. <sighs> okay. Try this again. Let's see. Maybe I can get Marco to get sleep on the other guy. You okay? Wow, those guys hit Ot really, really hard. Was that like two crits they got on her in a row? Oh. Man, they just have to make this as aggravating as possible. Okay, well, magic is out of the question against any of these guys, because, yeah, they got that magic shield going now. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to use some physical attacks to take these guys out. Ow! Okay, let's see. So, I can get all of them onto the same tile, and then use... A power wave or something on them or I could put them in the back but yeah I wouldn't deal as much damage to them the only problem is I don't have very many turns to use so okay we put them all in the same tile and hmm you know I could use Dullahan sword on them but I'm not gonna do that I don't want to wake up the guy in the back because chances are I wouldn't be able to kill him anyway Goes. Try this one again. Oh, wow. I'm surprised they actually worked. But, uh, well, go us. Uh, go team. Yeah, normally what I would like to do is use traps on these guys, but no. They just have to use that shield on them. Okay, so if we go like that, then let's use our cross star on them to launch them into the air. And then, okay, let me get to the stock turn. Thank you. Okay, and then, yeah, just go like that. And that should this be good. Mark. Here goes. I'll get him. How about this? Ha ha! I was pretty useful, right? Well, that battle was more interesting than the first one. <laughs> uh, can I? Oh, there it is. I couldn't see the railing Indeed. there or something. Hey, how's it going? Oh, nuts. How do you get lost? It's a long, narrow hallway. There's only so many places they could go. Oh, well then how do you find them? Secret passages. Nuts. I beg your pardon. Oh, well, he did make that, like, Thaumatech key to lock some things. Maybe we can find the switches with our monocyte. But all right, let's keep on going here. You walk that way! Yeah, those guys have quite a aggro radius because we're approaching them from the sides there instead of from above or below, which I would prefer. Okay, so careful with this guy. Or they could just not give me a preemptive yes. strike. Okay, let's try that Looks one again. Like we're safe for now. 
Well, I don't know if I would actually say that, Marco, but okay. I thought I had the guy when I ambushed him, when I swung my sword. Yeah, that can be a little tricky there. And actually, you know what? We're a little light on the HP. There you go. Hey, all right. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. We got that guy, push, left, trap, and then pull. That ought to be good enough there. Okay, so yeah, let's have Ott use push assault, because that's all she has in the way of dealing with that sort of thing. Okay, and then, let's see, even if you can only move, like, a Thaumaton onto one Volt Star Trap instead of both of them, like I'm gonna do here, you'll still be okay. One is enough to kill them because I've got the Thunder Charms equipped on her. And then, let's see, why don't we go with the Shadow Arts there? Hit the guy twice. Just to boost the combo level a little bit, if we can. Not bad, not bad. We win, we win! Yay! Is everyone alright? Oh, yeah, we didn't take any damage at all, but let's see, Amana Cape, if I recall correctly, I think it has like really high magic defense, but like almost nothing on physical defense. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really bad there, unless you're fighting someone who has no physical attacks, but I don't usually know the difference between a physical or a magical attack since they don't announce it in this game. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here to find a hidden treasure. Nice. Oh, and that's a really good book there. That's for Gafka there, and it learns one of the most powerful skills in the game. It's the enemy! Yeah, it's pretty obscene here. Let me see. Okay, not here. Unless there's... No, there's not anything right there. Okay, we got... I have a blockade. Let me see if I can't move it up or down so I can sneak past it. Or I could just do it that way. <laughs> but alright, we got the Mithril Mail. Probably give that to Rosh, I would say. Eh, it's a little better on the magic defense. Let me get a little resistance to status ailments, although I don't really care about that. Okay. Whoa! Yes. Yes. Calm down, buddy. Yes. Sleep, damn you! Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, let's see in here. Whoa! You won't get away! Yeah, sometimes hitting them like that can be a little tricky. Huh? What's this? What is it? Ah, hey! Why do they always have switches on the floor in these games? I mean, you would never have a switch on a floor in real life. Guess maybe they're just trying to fake you out or something? Or, I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't think to look for a light switch on a floor or something like that. But all right. And let's see. Okay, whoa, we got a special guy there. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, we're good. We could talk to this thing, I think. <laughs> what do you mean? There's nowhere to go. It's acting strange. Get ready. What do you mean it's acting strange? It's just sitting there. For boss time. I won't lose. Against the special thaw machine. Okay, so let's see. Marco, first thing I want to do, let's get magic boost on Ott there. Then let's see, lay the Volt Start Trap there. And push the guy onto it, and that should be enough to take him out. Or Rash could join in on the fun. Why not? It's finally over. Yeah, I need magic boost to deal just enough damage to take that guy out. Huh? But we got him! Hooray! Hey, look at his left arm. It's connected to the thaw machine. Is he the soldier that we... Uh, evidently. Unless he just came out of thin air. <laughs> 
Why is it always thin air, anyway? Why couldn't it be, like, fat air or chubby air? So, you've seen the light. Mostly fit, but could stand to lo lose a few pounds, air. You're Sarah, aren't you? We were asked to get you out of here. I well, see. you did a terrible job. Oh, how does it even work? Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We... Nuts. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. You're welcome? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, what is it? For me? Well, it's about time. It's taken long enough for us to get more of those things for Rosh. I like how that sound fades out after a while. It's really sad, but very effective. I like that with the storytelling there, but... Okay, so now, let's see. We could just walk out and leave, but I would rather wait until a bit later to do that. Let's see. Okay, well, we got the last new enemy around here. Be careful, Stock. Let's see... And just like all the other ones, it is weak to thunder. Let's get him. Okay, so let's see if we go right, push, trap, pull. That would be good enough, I think. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised Ot got, or er, not Ot, uh, Marco got a second turn in this chain of events here. Okay, so if we do that, yeah, then we need to get the trap going. Where are you? And then pull these guys on to it. And let's see. Okay, so we got the grapple, then the magical attack. Then let's do, let's see, some sort of physical attack. I guess like a spin slash or something. I'm trying to drive up the chain gauge as much as I can. And that should be good. Or about as good as we can do without like a dancing death or something. Maybe I should have done that instead, but... But yeah, as you can see, the war armlet just makes random battles so much easier. If it actually works. Too bad it doesn't work all the time, but well, you take what you can get. Okay, let's see. Where are we anyway? Okay, we need to go to the right, but there's some debris in the way. Whatever shall we do? Well, we got some explosives here. Yeah, I had a feeling that guy was about to wake up. Now, let's see. Can I move the explosives? There you go. I knew you could do it, Stock. Let's move that guy right next to where I'm going to set the explosives. And then... Boom! For now. Uh, oh. Is there another one I'm supposed to get? Ah, there it is. Okay. So, I was thinking that I only had the one, but I forgot. Yeah, we need a second one. Even if I put the barrel like exactly where I would have wanted to. I wanted to be a little careful there so I didn't initiate a battle with that guy, but well, we're okay. Let's see, on this floor... Oh, hey, there's a dude here. Indeed. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what happened? Well, he got it working, so what's the problem? Hmm, well, remember.
remember that for later. I beg your pardon. What do you mean? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, you have my permission. Okay, so let's see. We gotta go over here. That's... Oh, okay. Huh? I thought there was gonna be a switch here, but uh, okay. Huh? Let's see. Now I gotta be careful with these guys. I want to get close enough. Now, yeah, that's the problem with these guys is that I can't get close enough to knock them asleep, but not so close that I risk initiating an encounter there. But as long as I can run away quickly enough, that's probably good enough for my needs. That whoa! Did it work? I guess it worked. Okay, let's see. So there was no treasure on that floor, but let's see. Well, we got a save point there if you wanted to use it, but I do not. Yeah, unfortunately, in that previous room there, I could only. Ah, uh, what was it? Yeah, I could only deal That's... with those saw machines from, or well, vertically, not horizontally, so that made it difficult for me to aggro them without them running into me. Hey, alright. Let's see, I believe there's a couple treasures we can get around here. That's... Hey, alright. More MP restoring items, can never have enough of this. Ooh, nice. Got the HP to use those things now. Let's see, I think that's everything here. And we're almost at the end here. Okay, this floor is annoying <laughs> to deal with. The thing is, is that we got all these barricades around here that we're gonna need explosives to deal with. Be careful, Stock. Yeah, those guys aren't quite as fast. But yeah, we only have access... Well, let's do this one first. Yeah, we only have two barrels to work with, but there's like four barricades for us to blow up. Whatever shall we do? Well, first let's get through these ones. That's... Let's see, I think that's like a Mega Leakser or something. Okay, well, it's full HP for everyone. So, you might want to save that for, like, super bosses and stuff. We've got a lot of really tough bosses later in the game. But yeah, in, so in order to get past all those barricades, you have to leave the floor and then come back to make the explosives barrel respawn there. Kind of reminds me of that one boss and... Mega Man 2, where I think you're supposed to, like, use crash bombs or something to... What was it? Destroy all the barriers, die, then get your crash bombs refilled, and the barriers will still be gone, and then you can actually kill the bosses behind those barriers. I know there's ways of doing it without uh, dying to refill your crash bombs, but... It seems like the intended way to do that. So there's like more barriers and bosses than you have crash bombs to deal with if you just fight them normally. But alright, let's get past all these guys. And we made it. Alright, so let's see. We're at, yeah, this is the final floor of the place. It seems kind of odd that they would put a save point like two floors before the last save point, you'd think they'd put something in the middle there, like where we were dealing with that, uh, well, that Thaumatech experiment, or whatever was going on with that. What is Hugo going to be doing with all this new power that he's got anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!